Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be solving a uh, particle equilibrium problem. So with this problem, we've got a traffic light. It's got a mass of six kilograms being supported by two cables. Uh, cable one on the left here is going to be going off horizontally, and cable two is going off at a 15 degree angle. And we're asked to determine the tension in these two cables. So with this, first thing we do for any equilibrium problem is going to be to draw a free body diagram. So I'm going to draw a free body diagram right here of this ring. Uh, and it's the ring where the two cables come in and supporting the um, <clears throat> actual traffic light. So at this ring, I'm going to have three different forces. I'm going to have tension in cable one, let's say T1. I'm going to have tension in cable two, T2. Uh, and I'm going to have the weight force. So the weight of this is going to be in newtons, since I've got 6 kilograms, it's going to be 6 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram, uh, and that gives us a weight of 58.8 newtons, and that's pulling straight down. So the other thing I also know about this, I know that, well this T1 is horizontal, this weight force is vertical, uh, and this one over here is at an angle of 15 degrees, like so. So with this, I'll move this over, get a little more room. Next thing I need to do is draw out my equations of equilibrium. So I'm going to have sum of forces in the x and sum of forces in the y. This is a particle problem. Everything is going through uh, a single point like so. So that lets me know that I don't have any moments in this problem, so I've just got forces in the x and forces in the y. So let's start with forces in the x. So I know that the sum of the forces in the x is going to be equal to negative t1. This is going in the negative x and y. This is going in the negative x direction. So negative t1 plus, it's going to be a component of this vector over here. So if I imagine drawing out a triangle, the horizontal component here is going to be T2 times the cosine, because it's the adjacent side here to this angle. So cosine 15. The vertical part is going to be T2 sine of 15, because this is the opposite of the angle, so I use sine there. So plus T2 times the cosine of 15 degrees. And since it's in equilibrium, I'm assuming this thing is not moving around, all of those forces have to add up to be equal to zero. All right, so we've got one equation. Next equation is going to be sum of forces in the y. So in the y direction, uh, t1, there's no vertical component to that. I've got this negative 58.8. And I've got this positive component here. So it's this T2 sine 15, or the vertical component of T2. And this whole thing is going to be equal to zero, because this is an equilibrium. So from here, I've got two options. I need to solve for T1 and T2 as my unknowns. Uh, and the smartest thing to do, uh, since <clears throat> I've got only one unknown in this equation, I'm going to solve for T2 first. So if I rearrange this, I can get T2 times the sine of 15 degrees is going to be equal to 58.8 newtons. I divide both sides by sine of 15, and I can get the answer for T2. T2 is going to be equal to um, <clears throat> 227.2. So 
there is the tension in cable two, the one going off at a 15 degree angle. So now I need to figure out T1, and I can use that first equation up there. So if I rearrange this slightly, I will get T1 will be equal to T2 times the cosine of 15 degrees. So T2 I just found, so I can plug this 227.2 newtons into that. I multiply it by the cosine of 15, and I'll get my tension in cable 1 uh, to be equal to 219.4 and units of newtons for this. So with that, I've got the tension in cable 1, tension in cable 2. Uh, that's what I was looking for in this problem. Uh, so now we've solved our problem, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.